Turns out there is a massive underground aquifer at the crest of the Central Oregon Cascades. University of Oregon scientists found the body of water this month, which is at least 81 cubic kilometers. Here in Washington, we have our own volcano threat in the Cascade Mountains, which on average erupts once or twice every century. Nestled in the Pacific Northwest, the Cascade Mountains have long been a hotspot for geological activity. With their towering peaks and fiery volcanic history, captivating scientists and adventurers alike. But now, groundbreaking technology from the USGS has uncovered something far more sinister than magma lurking beneath the surface. Using advanced LIDAR scanning, researchers have peeled back the layers of this rugged landscape, and what they've discovered is as chilling as it is unexpected. This isn't just another volcano warning. The findings reveal an ancient and potentially catastrophic force hidden deep in the heart of the Cascades, one that could spell disaster in ways we've never imagined. What did they find, and how does it threaten everything in its path? The truth is more shocking than you think, and it's a story you won't want to miss. The Oregon Cascade Mountains are a breathtaking stretch of rugged peaks and lush valleys, running like a spine through the state's western half. Part of the larger Cascade Range, this volcanic arc has been shaped by millions of years of intense geological activity, where the Earth's tectonic forces clash and molten rock rises to sculpt the land. This region isn't just a collection of towering mountains, it's a living, breathing landscape, forged by fire and bound by time, whispering the stories of its ancient origins. There are over a dozen notable volcanoes in the Oregon Cascades, each with its own personality, history, and potential for destruction. Among them is Mount Hood, the state's highest peak, standing tall at 11,240 feet. Known for its symmetrical cone and stunning glaciers, Mount Hood is classified as a stratovolcano with a Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI, of 3. Though often tranquil and beloved by hikers and skiers, it last erupted in the 1790s and remains an active threat, with fumaroles and hot springs hinting at its fiery heart. Further south, Mount Jefferson looms at 10,495 feet, its jagged glacial-carved ridges giving it a dramatic and untamed appearance. This stratovolcano, also with a VEI of 3, is considered dormant but not extinct. Its remote location makes it one of the least studied peaks, adding a layer of mystery to its imposing silhouette. The Three Sisters, a trio of volcanic peaks, dominate the central Oregon Cascades. Each sister, north, middle, and south, has a distinct character. The North Sister is extinct, its crumbling basalt layers bearing witness to its ancient, fiery past. The Middle Sister is dormant, while the South Sister, with a VEI of three, is the most recently active, showing signs of uplift in recent decades, a stark reminder that its story is far from over. Together, these peaks create a stunning and varied landscape of sharp ridges, alpine meadows, and glacial valleys. One of the most fascinating and violent volcanoes in the region is Crater Lake, or what remains of Mount Mazama. Around 7,700 years ago, this mighty stratovolcano unleashed a catastrophic eruption, rated at a VEI of 7, that obliterated its summit and created the caldera that now holds one of the world's deepest and clearest lakes. Crater Lake, with its vivid blue waters and iconic Wizard Island, is a hauntingly beautiful reminder of the sheer power of volcanic activity. Other notable peaks include Newberry Volcano, a massive shield volcano with a VEI of 3, known for its extensive lava flows and unique obsidian deposits. Mount Bachelor, a young stratovolcano and popular ski destination, which last erupted around 8,000 years ago. And Broken Top, an extinct, heavily eroded stratovolcano whose jagged ridges hint at its tumultuous volcanic origins. Each of these volcanoes is a chapter in the Cascades' volatile history. The volcanic explosivity index for these peaks typically ranges between 2 and 7, with most falling in the 3 to 4 range, indicating eruptions capable of causing significant local devastation. 
Together, they form a landscape of staggering beauty and latent danger, a stark reminder of the dynamic forces shaping our planet. For those who visit, the Oregon Cascades are a place of awe and wonder, where every peak holds secrets of Earth's inner workings. Beneath their serene and snow-capped exteriors lies a reminder that the planet we call home is alive and unpredictable, capable of awe-inspiring creation and catastrophic destruction. This is a land forged by fire, where the mountains breathe, and where the next chapter in their story may yet be written. The Cascade Range of Oregon is far more than a picturesque expanse of volcanic peaks. Hidden beneath its rugged terrain lies a vast subterranean aquifer, an enormous reservoir of water embedded within the volcanic landscape. Recent research by scientists at the University of Oregon, in collaboration with other experts, has revealed the sheer magnitude of this water resource. Spanning an estimated 81 cubic kilometers, this aquifer holds a water volume nearly three times that of Lake Mead and over half that of Lake Tahoe. This groundbreaking discovery not only redefines the region's water supply potential, but also provides critical insights into its connection with volcanic processes. The aquifer is embedded beneath the central cascades, encased within volcanic rock formations at the mountain crest. Acting like a colossal natural reservoir, it stores an immense volume of water, much like a vast water tower perched atop the landscape. This revelation sheds light on a previously hidden facet of the Cascades and underscores the geological complexity of this volcanic arc. According to scientists, this aquifer may represent one of the largest of its kind, and similar reservoirs could exist elsewhere in the Cascade Range, suggesting the possibility of a region-spanning system of volcanic aquifers. This discovery emerged from a study focused on the evolution of the Cascade Range and the movement of water within its geological structures. Researchers initially aimed to better understand how the volcanic landscape had been shaped over time, but their findings unearthed a far-reaching water resource and its link to volcanic activity. Their work highlights the interplay between water and geological hazards, emphasizing how the movement of water through volcanic systems can influence the behavior of these dynamic landscapes. The implications of this research are particularly significant in light of growing concerns about climate change. As droughts intensify and snowpack, one of the primary sources of recharge for the aquifer, continues to diminish, understanding this hidden water storage becomes increasingly vital. This vast underground reservoir could play a crucial role in regional water management, offering a potential buffer against water scarcity while deepening the scientific understanding of volcanic and hydrological processes in the Cascades. The discovery reinforces the intricate relationship between geology, water, and the challenges posed by a changing climate, further elevating the importance of these mountains in shaping the natural and human systems of the Pacific Northwest. Researchers estimated the size of the aquifer by revisiting geothermal drilling data from the 1980s and 1990s. These earlier drilling projects, originally intended to explore geothermal energy potential, had reached deep into the earth and recorded temperature profiles at various depths. These historical temperature records provided the key to understanding how water moves through the volcanic rock layers of the Cascade Range. Typically, rock temperatures increase steadily with depth. However, the presence of groundwater flowing downward disrupts this pattern by cooling the deeper layers. By pinpointing the depth at which temperatures begin to rise again in the drill holes, the research team was able to estimate the extent to which groundwater penetrates into the volcanic formations. This information allowed them to map the aquifer and calculate its immense volume. Unlike previous methods, which focused on measuring surface water from springs or streams, this approach delved deep underground to uncover a far more extensive water reserve than previously understood. While the estimate of 81 cubic kilometers is already staggering, it is considered a conservative figure due to the limitations of the original drilling data. These drill holes were not designed for groundwater mapping, leaving gaps in the data. 
As a result, the actual volume of water stored in the aquifer could be even greater, underscoring its significance as a hidden yet vital resource within the Cascade Mountains. But here's the kicker. The discovery of a massive water reservoir high in the Cascade Mountains has implications far beyond water supply. This vast underground aquifer plays a crucial role in shaping volcanic activity. When magma interacts with groundwater, the resulting pressure can lead to highly explosive eruptions, altering landscapes, and releasing ash and gases that disrupt air quality. Understanding the scale and movement of this aquifer provides scientists with critical insights into the volcanic hazards associated with the region. The future of this aquifer, however, is fraught with uncertainty. Its existence depends heavily on snowpack, which serves as its primary source of recharge. As climate change accelerates, rising temperatures are causing a shift from snow to rain, reducing the snowpack that feeds the aquifer. Without sufficient snow accumulation, less water is absorbed into the volcanic rocks, threatening the reservoir's capacity and long-term viability. This hidden groundwater system is dynamic and currently robust, but its resilience is deeply tied to the availability of replenishing snowmelt. With climate patterns shifting, the delicate balance that sustains this aquifer faces increasing pressure, raising questions about its role in both water resources and volcanic activity in the decades to come. Let's dig deeper into this. What happens if a water reservoir is found beneath an active volcano? The discovery of a significant water reservoir beneath an active volcano can dramatically alter the risk profile of that volcanic system. While water is often associated with life and renewal, beneath the surface of a volcano, it takes on a more dangerous role. The interplay between water and magma creates a volatile environment where the potential for explosive eruptions increases significantly. Understanding why this occurs requires a closer look at the powerful dynamics between water, heat, and pressure. When water stored underground comes into contact with magma, a cascade of rapid and violent processes begins. As the water is exposed to the extreme heat of the magma, it undergoes a sudden phase change, converting from liquid to steam. This transition is not just dramatic, but explosive, as steam occupies significantly more volume than liquid water. The rapid expansion generates immense pressure within the volcanic system, often overwhelming the ability of the surrounding rock to contain it. This can result in phreatomagmatic eruptions, which are among the most explosive and destructive types of volcanic events. In such eruptions, magma is violently fragmented into ash and pumice, while shockwaves ripple through the air and ground, amplifying the destruction. Volcanic explosivity is further enhanced by the presence of dissolved gases within the magma. Magma typically contains volatile compounds like water vapor, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide, which are held under pressure as it rises toward the surface. When additional water is introduced from a subsurface reservoir, it can amplify this effect by adding more gases to the mix. Under the extreme temperatures near the magma, water molecules can decompose into hydrogen and oxygen gases, further increasing the pressure. If the overlying layers of rock are unable to withstand this buildup, the result is often a catastrophic eruption that can reshape entire landscapes. In comparing volcanic systems with and without significant subsurface water, the difference in eruptive behavior becomes clear. Dry volcanic systems tend to rely on the composition of the magma and its inherent gas content to determine explosivity. While these systems can still produce powerful eruptions, the presence of a water reservoir introduces an additional and unpredictable risk factor. The interaction of water and magma often amplifies the intensity of eruptions, making them far more destructive than they might have been in a drier system. A common question arises. Could this water act as a natural coolant, tempering the volatility of the magma? In theory, water has the potential to cool magma if it remains in contact for an extended period. However, in the real world, such interactions rarely happen under controlled conditions. 
Instead of gradually cooling the magma, the water typically flashes into steam almost instantly upon contact, driving explosive activity rather than mitigating it. The conditions within a volcanic system are simply too dynamic and extreme for water to play a stabilizing role. History provides numerous examples of water-driven volcanic explosions that underline the dangers of this interaction. The 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens in Washington is a prime example, where groundwater played a significant role in fueling the explosive blast. Similarly, the catastrophic eruption of Krakatoa in 1883 was amplified by seawater infiltrating the magma chamber, creating one of the most powerful eruptions in recorded history. More recently, the 2022 eruption of Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha Pai in the South Pacific demonstrated how seawater mixing with magma could trigger a massive explosion that sent shockwaves around the world and altered the planet's atmosphere. The implications of finding a water reservoir beneath an active volcano extend beyond understanding its geological behavior. Such a discovery adds urgency to monitoring and hazard mitigation efforts. Regions surrounding these volcanoes face increased risks, not only from the potential for explosive eruptions, but also from the ash fallout, pyroclastic flows, and long-term environmental consequences that such events can bring. This dynamic highlights the need for advanced research and monitoring. Technologies like seismic imaging and thermal mapping are critical for identifying and characterizing hidden reservoirs, while robust early warning systems can provide communities with the time needed to prepare for possible eruptions. Understanding the relationship between water reservoirs and volcanic activity is essential for reducing the risk to human life and infrastructure. The discovery of water beneath a volcano is a vivid reminder of the interconnectedness of Earth's systems. It reveals the profound power locked within the planet, where fire and water can combine to create catastrophic force. These reservoirs, while hidden from view, hold the potential to shape not only the landscapes around them, but also the course of human history, as they remind us of nature's ability to both create and destroy. The discovery of this vast aquifer beneath the Cascade Range is a remarkable geological revelation, yet it brings forth significant concerns about its long-term sustainability. With climate change reshaping precipitation patterns and reducing snowpack, the natural recharge process that sustains this water reservoir is under threat. A reduction in snowpack, coupled with increasingly erratic weather patterns, could diminish the volume of water replenishing this hidden resource. Scientists, including Gordon Grant and Leif Karlstrom, are now dedicated to unraveling the complexities of this aquifer to ensure its effective management. Grant has emphasized the importance of understanding the broader implications of this discovery, noting that while the aquifer is a geological gift, it presents challenges that demand careful attention. He expressed concern about the potential consequences of severe winters with little or no snow and prolonged dry spells, pointing out the pressing need to assess the impacts of such scenarios on this critical water source. This groundbreaking discovery highlights the indispensable role of scientific research in uncovering Earth's hidden resources. It also underscores the necessity of developing informed strategies to manage and protect these vital reserves in the face of climate change. As research continues on this big water tower hidden beneath the Cascades, scientists are working not only to preserve it as a dependable resource for future